The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees who say there is no resurrection came to Jesus and put this question to him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman and died, leaving no descendants. <clears throat> so the second brother married her and died, leaving no descendants, and the third likewise, and the seven left no descendants. Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not misled because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God? When they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the passage about the bush, how God told him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? He is not God of the dead, but of the living. You are greatly misled. Dear friends, brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. The Sadducees in today's Gospel must have asked, according to our opinion perhaps, uh, a silly question stupid one but it is also important for us why because they ask a question that matters to us most of us or to all of us basically the question is what is heaven like ano ba ang itsura ng langit in our imagination can shape uh, what our heavens would like to be. Halimbawa, kung ikaw ay isang uh, hunter, ang iyong langit ay isang napakalaking lugar where you can hunt and there's so much game. Mga usa, mga fowl, sari-saring uh, mga hayop na pwede mong uh, i-hunt. O di kaya naman ay we can go back to what paradise looked like. A garden, green and pleasant, with lands, with rivers and lakes. But God goes beyond the limits of our imagination. Sabi nga sa scripture, sa Biblia, What no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the human heart conceived, what God has prepared, for those who love Him. And dami dami natin ex human experiences, even in this world, even in our time, where perhaps lumamangha tayo, we are amazed at what the human mind can, can do. But then heaven is not like that. Yan ang sinasabi sa atin. Hindi ganyan ang langit. No matter how fertile our imagination is in inventing things or experiences. The strange questions lead to a good answer about God. God is the God of life, of living beings. At dapat nating iwan daw after this life to God acknowledging that answers will not easily be forthcoming. 
So what is heaven like? Uulitin natin yung question. Ano ba ang langit? Many faith questions have a place in prayer. Kaya nga tayo na andito. Yung iba nga sa atin araw-araw pag nagsisimba. Marami tayong mga katanungan, hindi lamang tungkol sa langit, kundi sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. Halimbawa, bakit tayo nagkakasakit? Bakit tayo ay nangangailangan? Ang dami nating needs. Bakit hindi nagkakaintindihan sa bahay? Bakit nagkakagera dito, doon? Etc. Etc. We have many concerns in life. But we, you know, we struggle with the big questions of our faith. And kind of they get a certain kind of context when we offer it before the feet of the Lord especially at the foot of the cross our questions are not always answered in prayer hindi po ba? but prayer gives them the proper context may context sa lahat ng ating mga katanungan halimbawa itong araw na ito ano ba ating itinatanong sa Panginoon Lord, bakit hindi mo pa tina- tinatanggap o ginagawa ang aking hinihingi? And things like those. Lord, bakit ako nagkaroon ng ganitong malubhang sakit? Ang sabi ng isang uh, makata, si Rainer Maria Rilke, sabi niya, sinasabi rin niya sa atin, live the questions. Isa buhay mo ang iyong mga tanong. And one day, you will find the answers. O nga naman, ano? Halimbawa, yung langit, paano ba natin isasabuhay ang langit? We have an idea of what heaven is like. Maaring hindi sa buhay natin ito, but we can start living heaven. Ano ba yun? Halimbawa, huwag kang maging madamot. Mapag, dapat maging mapagbigay ka. Or, be more patient. Be more understanding. Instead of being focused on yourself, what about being focused on another person? Giving a listening ear to his or to her problems. Diba? What about keeping quiet instead of, you know, uh, being busy with your telephones or cell phones? What about devoting some time to God or to another human being in distress? The last line puts a very human problem in its proper perspective. Kagaya rin sa ating Ibanghelyo, di ba? Uh, ang tanong ng mga Sadducees, pito yung naging asawa ng isang babae na na-widow seven times. No matter who or how many we have loved in life, we look on relationships in eternity as part of the mystery of God. and of eternal life. Ang alam natin kasi dito sa buhay na ito ay buhay na merong hangganan. Sooner or later, we are all going to leave this world. Jesus was not claiming that because God identified Himself to Moses as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, imagine three generations, that the patriarchs must necessarily have shared in the resurrection of the dead In stating that God was God, not of dead people, but of living beings, Jesus was probably saying something more pertinent. Sino ba si Abraham? O ating babalikan ang kanilang kwento, ang kanilang buhay. They trusted in the promise of God. Sabi niya kay Abraham, di ba, pumunta ka dito sa lugar na ito, hindi niya alam kung ano naghihintay sa kanya, but he went. Ganon din kay Isaac. Ganon din kay Jacob. It was an attitude in life. They were looking forward sa future. E ang mga Sadducees, Sadducees they were limited by their uh, belief that there is no resurrection. Kaya nabilanggu sila nung kanilang pag-iisip. In the end, God, uh, Jesus said, You Sadducees are misled. Mali kayo. God is a God of the living, not of the dead. Kaya nga, by your favorite things on earth, know the goodness of God and have faith that He will give you even better things when the resurrection comes.
Sa nagsisimula ang ating langit, not after we die, it happens even now. Ano ba yung ating favorite things? Ano ba yung mga gusto natin? Magandang buhay, magiging malusog, magiging peaceful, everything is calm, etc., etc. We can do that even now. And if we know that, that is one of our, those are one of our favorite things, God is even preparing for us even better things.